Hey guys, um, in this exercise I'm going to show you how to make a cartoon hand uh, relatively quickly and it's uh, pretty easy. So this is what we are going to end up with. Something uh, something like this. So as you can see it's just a cool little hand that you can uh, attach to your character. So let's uh, let's get started. So let me show you how I made this. So uh, let's grab a sphere and what I've done was I went to my um, brushes and I grabbed something that's called IMM Tune, right? So that should be uh, in your ZBrush as well. And then I simply clicked on the base hand and just drag the hand out on the side. If you hold on the shift key, uh, that might help you, but just drag something like this out. And once you've done that, what we want to do is we want to separate this hand from the sphere. So I'm going to go to split and say split on mast. So now my hand, as you can see, is on a separate layer from the sphere. So I actually don't need the sphere anymore. I'm just going to click delete on my layer. And now I'm only left with this uh, hand. I can press F to zoom in. And this is what I got. So next what I could do is I can click on the uh, Dynamesh. And I can actually polish as well. If you don't have this uh, polish here, obviously, uh, that could be found under Deformation. And you could see polish right uh, up here. So all I've done was I simply dragged it onto my uh, interface here. All right, so I have this uh, starting point, which is better than uh, nothing, right? So now let's make this in some sort of a, a fun, appealing cartoon hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my move tool. And I'm going to I'm going to set my color to white. So my uh, material is currently set to um, poly skin, which I find it uh, fun to look at. So because I like the lighting on this thing, but it doesn't matter what material you grab, you can use basic material that will work as well. Uh, this is just my own personal preference. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab my move tool and just drag these spaces between the fingers a little bit lower so my fingers are are a little bit longer so something like that I can make my move tool a little bit larger and just kind of shape the hand A little better so my wrist you know is a little skinnier and if we want to get rid of this ugly stuff here uh, our dynamesh is on so we can redynamesh a couple times just keep doing it until dragging and then shift to smooth it and you can see it slowly kind of disappears um, all right so at this point I'm working with only 23 points so it's very light and next what I would like to do is grab my inflate inflate brush and that could be found under brushes I just again dragged these on my interface but you can find it in the brushes and you just simply inflate the ends of the fingers and that will give us more of a cartoony hand. That's what I'm kind of looking for. I want the fingers to be a little thicker. And I'm just doing this with my mouse, actually. So it's nothing complicated. Just simply dragging and little spurts to give me something that looks a little more... Uh, like a cartoon hand. 
And this finger to me looks a little skinny, so maybe I'll drag it on the side as well. And if I wanted to, I can grab my move tool, make it sort of large, and also just kind of drag these, straighten them up a little. The reason I want them straighter is because if I actually bring this for uh, rigging, right, if this is like a hand for a game character, you want to make sure that the fingers are straight. It will be a lot easier to set up the joints on these things. Alright, so let's go ahead and dynamesh it one more time. And now we can slowly add a, a little detail. So, for example, let's grab our uh, inflate brush and let's just add a few places where we think the knuckles would be. It doesn't need to be too realistic, but maybe it would be, it will give us an illusion that there is actually bones underneath the skin. And that's sort of what I'm going for. And don't worry about making it too big or too small, because at any point you can change your uh, brush size and hold down the shift key and just smooth it out. So it's actually better to make uh, big strokes and just sm simply smooth them out. It'll give you an illusion of detail. You can also use the standard brush as well. I use that many times. And I want to make sure that mine is just set to dots and I want to add maybe I'd like intensity was the, uh, the intensity at 11 and all I'm going to do is just kind of draw bones going to each finger just so the hand is not so smooth looking and again just kind of smooth this part out. And you can see it almost looks like there's a little bit of something going on, right? Um, usually once I start adding more detail I also like to work with a little higher res. So let's go ahead and actually crank this up to 256. And right now we have 20, 25,000 points. If I control and drag and release, you could see I'm at 101,000 points, which is a little better. I can polish this, kind of polish the whole hand at once, and it's starting to look uh, better and better. We can also grab the move tool and just kind of press in on the hand, and maybe some parts actually need to be pulled out. If you look at your hand, you'll see that like this part is actually is out a little bit, so something like that. You can smooth it. So that's starting to look pretty good. Uh, another thing we can do is we can inflate just little pockets here something like that maybe maybe a little more here just you can look at your own hand for a reference but I'm kinda liking that I'm gonna grab my move tool and just simply press here so it's not so high so that that works Another thing we can do is we can grab our Dimian standard brush and mine is set to add at 9 intensity and we can create kind of little lines on the part of the fingers where they bend. And once we've done that, we can hold on the shift key and just smooth it just a little bit, not too much, but. And 
Now let's go uh, ahead and grab the Damien standard set to subtract and maybe increase our intensity a little more. And this time let's draw a line of where the fingers actually bend. And obviously they bend in three places, so I'm sort of making a mistake. So it will be like here and maybe here. So here. Maybe here, here, and somewhere in here. I'm not being too precise, I'm just sort of giving you a rough idea of how I go about um, making something like that, so that kind of works. And on your thumb you just have two, right? So now let's go ahead and increase our brush. I'm just holding down the S key and you can drag the size of the brush. Hold on the shift key and just start smoothing this stuff out. So once you smooth it out it kind of has a hint of detail but it's not as prominent so that's I think looks looks a little more realistic. At any point you can grab the move tool and if you see any of the fingers that look kind of weird you can just take a moment and adjust them so something like that is pretty nice all right and what else can we do let's add a little uh, hint of uh, nail so to do that I'm just gonna go to my standard and I'm going to grab my uh, drag rectangular. I'm going to go to alpha and grab this. Um, let's see. I'll do this alpha 14. And I'm going to do a subtract. And let's see. If I just drag this, make this a little smaller, but if I just drag a circle, more intensity. So the nail would be somewhere around here and maybe a little more intensity 50 how about 50 yeah I think 50 works so I'm not gonna drag this on every nail I'm not actually creating the actual nails I'm just kind of hinting where the nail would be I'm gonna grab my move tool and simply move this up just a little bit so it's not so round and if we wanted to we can actually create geometry for the nail but for this tutorial uh, I'm just going for something really simple but you could see how I could quickly uh, I was able to quickly create a nice looking cartoon hand and maybe the thumb is a little too uh, strong compared to the other four fingers so at any point we can shape it a little better but as you can see this hand is much nicer than what we originally got and now you can easily uh, attach this to your uh, character as a dynamesh and just simply weld it together. So I hope you found this uh, helpful and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want uh, to see more uh, cool little exercises and uh, modeling tricks. All right, thanks.